She was a wannabe celeb who would do anything to grab the brass ring. But once she got what she wanted, someone viciously took it all away. Number 13, the murder of Bonnie Lee Bakley. The wife of actor Robert Blake had a checkered past. Bonnie Lee Bakley was a huge celebrity wannabe. She had a, actually a black book in which were names of every major star in Hollywood that she was hoping to get to. Then more information came out that she had scammed other men, that she had left a trail of tears behind her in her life. She led a very complicated life selling pornography through the mail and breaking a lot of hearts and, and scamming people. Bonnie met Blake in 1999 at a birthday party. By the fall, she was pregnant with his child rather stormy relationship that was well known and well documented uh, through their friends and, and through family. Despite their rocky affair, Bakley married the former Beretta star in November 2000, three months after the birth of their daughter. They didn't have a normal marriage. They didn't live in the same house. She was out by the pool in the pool house. The marriage continued to struggle, but on the night of May 4, 2001, the couple decided to have dinner together. Robert and Bonnie went to their favorite restaurant in Studio City, California. At 8.30 p.m., Blake parked his car next to a dumpster by a construction site a block and a half from the restaurant. Blake brought along his pistol. They were having dinner at Vitello's restaurant in Studio City. He was eating his own dish. They have a dish on the menu, the Robert Blake pasta dish. Around 9.30, Bonnie and Robert finished dinner and headed back to the car. According to the police report, Blake said he forgot his gun and went back to the restaurant to get it. He says he left his gun in the booth. So he goes to the booth, can't find the gun. And he goes back out to the car. The police report continues to say that when Blake returned to the car, he found Bonnie bleeding to death from gunshot wounds. Now, that short span of time, if somebody wants to murder her, have to follow them and knows exactly the location, knows exactly he going to walk away back to the restaurant. So this window of opportunity is very narrow. Blake ran to a nearby home and called 911. Paramedics arrived and raced Bonnie to the hospital, but she was DOA. She had multiple gunshot wounds. One gunshot wound to the right cheek, which was considered fatal wound, and one gunshot to the right shoulder, which was considered potentially fatal. Police grilled Blake for hours after the murder and searched his home. Blake maintained his innocence, but according to police, evidence began to mount. It turns out that Robert Blake collects guns, and they happen to find this rare German gun in the dumpster a couple of blocks away that happens to be the murder weapon. In April 2002, after an 11-month investigation, police arrested Blake for the murder of Bonnie Lee Bakley. When Bonnie Lee Bakley was murdered, uh, the initial assumption was it has to be Robert Blake. It has to be her own husband, especially when information came out that he really didn't like her. The trial lasted three months. Bonnie's shady lifestyle was brought into question. And there's other people that she's finessed and finagled money out of her, have reason to want to come after her. And so the specter of reasonable doubt is so high in that case. Bonnie Lee Bakley is, is a perfect example where the focus wasn't really on what occurred, but who she was, what she was like, and what her private and personal life was. On March 16, 2003, Robert Blake was found not guilty. No one else has been charged for Bonnie's murder. I thought uh, that was the perfect example of a highly professional lawyer doing an extraordinary job of creating reasonable doubt. In November 2005, in a civil trial brought by Bakley's children, the jury found that Blake had intentionally caused Bonnie's death. Her children were awarded $30 million in damages. Some people said in Hollywood, if you kill your wife, you don't have to go to prison, you just have to pay a fine. Up next, hundreds of witnesses, several shots fired, an iconic rapper dead, and not a single arrest. Who wants to be the snitch? 